My name is Katie Perkins, and I am the director of Legacy School of Ministry. Legacy School of Ministry is a nine-month transformative discipleship program based out of Legacy Nashville. LSM exists to activate God's people in a greater awareness of His presence, to equip disciples with a strong biblical foundation, and to launch mature world changers into their sphere of influence to advance the kingdom of Jesus. I would like to invite you to join us for our upcoming school year. Applications are open now and you can learn more or apply today at LegacySchoolOfMinistry.org. Holy Spirit, we just invite you to come and have your way. And Jesus, we just love you. We lift you high. We glorify you. Oh God, open up our eyes that we can see that we can see you just as you are, God. I pray for the spirit of wisdom and revelation as Ephesians 1.17 says. Lord, I pray that it would open up our eyes to see you rightly, Lord. We wanna see what all of heaven sees as they worship you day and night, God, as they cry out holy before you. Jesus, we, we pray that you would transform our hearts to look like you more. We pray that you would wound us to even love you more. God, I pray that you would give us strength. Ephesians 3, uh, Paul prayed that you would have strength to comprehend the height and depth and length and width of your love. God, I pray that you would give us ability to love you and to know how much you love us, God. Oh, we pray that we'd be motivated by love in everything that we do. Just pray that you'd motivate us by loving you and loving people, God. Holy Spirit, I pray if there's anyone that's watching this right now, I pray that you would touch them. I pray that you would encounter them. I pray that you would grant them the needs of their moment, Lord. I pray that you would make yourself known to them in whatever way they need you to make them make yourself known to them. Whether that's a father or a savior, whatever that is, God, I just pray that you would minister them in Jesus' name. Have your way, God. I just want to speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind. Cause I know there's peace within your presence. I speak Jesus. I just want to speak the name of Jesus Till every dark addiction starts to break Declaring there is hope and there is freedom I speak Jesus Your name is power your name is healing your name is life break every stronghold shine through the shadows burn like a fire just want to speak the name of Jesus over fear and all anxiety to every soul held captive by depression 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
of Jesus, the name above every name, the name that kings and rulers will bow to one day. We speak the name of Jesus over every situation, over every insecurity, over every fear over everything that may want to exalt itself against the knowledge of God. We speak the name of Jesus. We speak the name of Jesus over our city. We speak the name of Jesus over our families. We speak the name of Jesus over every trial, over every tribulation. Jesus, we ask you to be present. We ask you to be near. We ask you to come be Lord of our families. We ask you to come be Lord of our city. We ask you to be Lord of our nation. Jesus, we just exalt your name. We just exalt your name. And I I pray that Jesus's name would be exalted in the streets again. I pray that the the nature of who you are and what you're like and, and the power that you carry would be thrust forth in the streets again. We just declare Jesus over our nation again. We declare Jesus over our city. Oh, we decree your ruling reign and we invite your ruling reign over our city and over our families and over every situation that we're dealing with. Jesus, we invite you to be the Lord. We invite you to come and have your way and to to take your rightful place. I just want to read this scripture from Isaiah 55. I feel like the Lord dropped it into my spirit. It says, come everyone who thirsts, come to the waters and he who has no money, come buy and eat, come buy wine and milk without money, without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread and your labor for that which does not satisfy? Listen diligently to me and eat what is good and delight yourselves in rich food. Incline your ear and come to me here that your soul may live. I will make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, sure love for David. And I, it also says in verse six, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he's near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord that he may have compassion on him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. I I feel that there may be some that are hearing this and just in a time, they're in a time where they need to just know that they've been forgiven and that they can be pardoned from their sin. And I pray, Lord, that you would 
encounter these ones. I pray that you would rush in Holy Spirit and meet them in this moment where they may feel overwhelmed by sin, overwhelmed by shame, overwhelmed by guilt. Lord, we just speak over them. We just speak over their heart, over their conscience that He will abundantly pardon you. Isaiah 55 says, He will abundantly pardon you, pardon you. And I ask you, God, that you would draw them unto you to come and to buy from you water that does not leave them thirsty. Lord, I pray that those that are longing, anyone that might be watching this, that, that they're, they're longing to just be fully satisfied. I pray that God, they would come to you and that they would drink of the water that does not run dry. They would drink the water that never leaves them thirsty again. They would drink of the water of your spirit, the water of your presence, the water of your overwhelming satisfaction, the water of being completely forgiven, of being, of being saved and filled with the Holy Spirit. God, I pray that you would grant them that water. Lord, just as you told that Samar uh, Samaritan woman that the water that she would drink from, that you would offer her. She would never thirst again. God, I pray that over those that are watching this right now. I just feel the Lord giving the invitation to come unto Him, to bring all the sorrow, to bring all the burdens, to bring all the sin, all the shame. God, I pray that you'd bring it unto, uh, you, they would bring it unto you and that they would know your abundant pardoning love. In Jesus' name. I wanna sit at your feet, drink from the cup in your hand, lay back against you and breathe, feel your heart beat. This love is so deep, it's more than I can stand. I'm melting your peace, it's overwhelming I wanna sit at your feet, drink from the cup in your hand Lay back against you and breathe, feel your heart beat This love is so deep, it's more than I can stand I'm melting your peace, it's overwhelming, it's overwhelming, it's overwhelming, when I sit at your feet, I want to drink from your river overflowing, oh. Worship you. 
you are here working in this place I worship you I worship you you are way maker miracle worker promise keeper light in the darkness my God that is who you are you are way maker miracle worker promise keeper light in the darkness my God that is who you are 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 oh I know you're working I know you're working You are here And touching every heart I worship you I worship you You are here Healing every heart I worship you I worship you You are here Turning lives around I worship you I worship you You are here Mending every heart I worship you I worship you Promise keep light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keep light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keep. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are way make miracle work, promise keep light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. 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 You're working, you never stop, you never stop working, you never stop, you never stop working, even when I don't see it, you're working, even when I don't feel it, you're working, you never stop, you never stop working, you never stop, you never stop working, even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop.
driving out the dark with your light. You're making ways, but there is no ways. You're driving out the dark with your light, Jesus. Oh, you are the only way maker, Lord. You are the only way maker, Lord. We declare your hand is working, God, even when we can't see it. And sometimes more so when we, when we can't see it. Father, I pray for fresh faith and fresh courage for everyone right now that feels alone or feels abandoned or feels like you've stopped working in their life, Lord. Father, I pray that she would fill them with hope again, that she would help them to believe in the Romans 15, God of hope. Lord, I pray that you would give them courage to have faith, to believe that you're working in their life. God, I pray that where they can't see it, where they, they, they don't, they feel left alone by you. Father, I pray that you'd rush in and remind them encourage them. Lord, give them dreams. Give them words of encouragement. Give them uh, prophetic words, anything to lift their spirit, to believe that you're still at work in their life, God. Lord, I ask you that you would show yourself strong. And we just by faith declare that you are still working among us. You're still working among us, Lord. You're the same God who was splitting the Red Sea in the days of the Exodus, Lord. You're the same Jesus who multiplied food. You're the same Jesus who calmed storms. You're the same Jesus who took authority over demonic spirits. You're the same Jesus. And Lord, I pray, God, that you would show yourself as a way maker to those that are desperate for miracles right now. I pray that you'd show yourself as one who makes a way where there is no way. God, and we just give you opportunity to show yourself strong. Lord, I, oh, I pray that our faith would grow. I pray that our faith would even be increased in these desperate times, Lord. God, I, I ask you for, Lord, the most hopeless situations to be transformed for your glory, God. Oh God, we cry out, Lord, where, where it seems like all hope is lost. All hope is lost for a person's salvation or all hope is lost that there's ever gonna be any miracle or there, there's ever gonna be any restoration. God, I pray for those hopeless situations to be transformed to be transformed by a miracle. Even today, God, even today, show yourself as a miracle worker, as a wonder working God. We thank you that a broken and contrite heart you never despise, Psalm 51 says. You never deny or despise a broken, contrite, needy heart. You're compassionate, you're kind. You know that we're but dust, Lord. You know that we're poor and needy, God. And yet you come and visit us and minister to us. Would you come and minister to us in our brokenness and in our neediness, God? Oh, how we're desperate, God. Oh, how we're desperate, Lord. Lord, and I pray that you break down our self-sufficiency, Lord. Lord, I pray that you would wreck our self-sufficiency, Lord, and bring it low. Bring the pride of man and the arrogance of man low. Oh, I pray that you would teach us to lean upon you. That you would teach us to walk 
in step with you, in step with the Spirit. Oh, just as the bride comes up from the wilderness, she comes out of the wilderness in Song of Solomon 8, leaning on her beloved. God, I pray that whatever situation we're in right now, wherever we're at, I pray that you would bring us out of the wilderness leaning upon you, God. Leaning on our beloved. Oh God, teach us to rely on you. Teach us to lean on you. Teach us to rely on you. I just wanna pray for a grace to trust and lean upon the Lord more today, more today, more today. That we would trust you with our emotions and our our passions and our shortcomings. That we would trust you with even the habitual patterns we have or the cycles we have. That we would trust you that we would trust you with our finances greater. We trust you with our family greater. I just pray for a a greater grace to trust and lean into you, God, even right now. Everything that's been thrown at our families, everything that's been thrown at our city, everything that's been thrown at our nation. You take what the enemy meant for evil. Turn it for good, Lord. Turn it. Turn it for good. You turn it for good. You work all things according to the good of those who love them. You take what the enemy meant yes. for evil. Yes. And you turn it for good. Turn it for good, Lord. You turn it for good. Turn it for good. Oh, you take what the enemy meant, meant for evil. Yeah. And you turn it for good. Yeah. You turn it for yes. good. you're sovereign. You are sovereign, God. There's nothing that escapes your sight. You're sovereign, God. There's nothing that happens that you're not aware of or you couldn't foresee coming, God. You're completely sovereign. And I just pray for those that feel like they're totally broken down or or, or like the enemy has got the upper hand. I just pray right now, would you come in, God, and turn what the devil has completely meant for evil and bring it around. Turn it for good, God. 
I ask you in Jesus' name that you would just put the enemy to shame for uh, how he has constantly overplays his hand. God, I ask you to bring restoration, to bring total like recompense to the enemy's camp, Lord, for any ways that he has stolen or he has brought confusion or he has robbed in Jesus' name, God. We just ask you, work everything according to your purpose. You work all things according to your purpose, the word says, God. All things according to your purpose that you've had established ages and ages and ages ago. Work it for your good, God. Work it for your good, which is for our good. Weapon may be formed, but it won't prosper. When the darkness falls, it won't prevail. Cause the God I serve knows only how to triumph. Oh, my God will never fail. Oh, my God will never fail. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory for the battle belongs to you, Lord. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory for the battle belongs to you, Lord. Belongs to you. There is power in the mighty name of Jesus. Every war he wages, he will win. I'm not backing down from any giant. Cause I know how this story ends. Yes, I know how this victory for oh, the battle belongs to you Lord I'm gonna see a victory I'm gonna see a victory for oh, the battle belongs to you Lord oh, I'm gonna see a yes, victory. victory I'm gonna see a victory we decree victory God for oh, the Like they've been overwhelmed, we decree victory. Those that feel like all hope is lost, we decree victory, God. Worship is a weapon that 
drives the darkness away My worship is a weapon That the enemy can't escape My worship It is a weapon That drives the darkness away Drives the darkness away I give you everything Jesus Oh Oh God of hope. May the God who possesses the title of hope, the God of hope, fill you with all joy and peace in believing, and that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. We just pray for an abounding of hope in your church, God. We just pray for an abounding of hope. God, I pray that you would fill the hopeless with fresh, fresh hope, God. Pray that they'd be filled with joy, with peace, with grace to believe. And Holy Spirit, I pray that you would come and manifest yourself as the God of hope to those that are stuck in hope deferred. Oh, come Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit, ignite a fresh grace to believe, a fresh faith, a fresh passion for you, God. I just pray for those that have been like beat down. Beat down with life circumstances. I just pray for those that have been wounded, maybe through poor leadership in their life. Father, I just pray for those that have had unfulfilled dreams or just kind of misunderstood maybe your plan for them. God, I just pray that you'd fill them with hope and joy and peace in all believing. I pray that they would know you as one who uh, ignites a grace to trust you again. Oh God, the church is in so much need to have hope, to have a fresh fire, a fresh passion for trusting you, God. Yeah. Come, Holy Spirit. Yes. 
come have you. And I pray for those that have lost faith in their calling. They've lost faith in what you could do in their life or what what you wanted to do in their life. I pray that you'd fill them again with hope. Fill them again with hope, God. Come have your way, Holy. Come have your way again, Holy Spirit. Fill them again, God. Fresh vision again, God. I pray for a, a fresh falling in love with you, God. Fresh intimacy. A reviving of their own heart. Just, just to trust you again, God. We trust you. your way, however you see fit. You're welcome to rearrange the things in my life, God. So that you can make me look more like your son. Fill us fresh. Fill us up. Fill us up again. Even as we invite you, fill us up again. Fill us up to overflow. Fill us up to overflow again. We need you. We need you. Jesus, you said, how much more will your heavenly father give to those give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him. Oh, we desire, we desire to be filled up to overflow with your presence, Lord. Just keep baptizing us, Lord. Keep 
filling us again. He is my heart, Lord. He is my heart. my heart, Lord. Speak what is true. He is my heart, Lord. He is my heart. my heart, Lord. Speak what is true. Here's my life. Here's my life, Lord. Here's my life, Lord. Have it all. My life, Lord, speak what is true. Speak what is true. Speak what is true. Speak what. Is true. Speak what Gratitude. 
within me hope in God for I shall yet again praise him my salvation 
and my God. We just declare to the hopeless today, hope in God, for I shall yet again praise Him, my salvation and my God. And we just speak to our soul today to just hope in God once again. We just tell ourselves to hope in Him, to trust in Him. We just stir up, we stir up the faith that's already been granted to us. God, and we strengthen ourselves in the Lord today by remembering your, the ways that you've come through for us, by remembering the, your goodness, by allowing the Holy Spirit to give us grace to trust you again. Oh God, I just pray that you'd help us to hope in you again. We just speak to our soul. We just say, why are you downcast, oh my soul? Hope in God. We just declare to our soul, hope in God. Even as many are watching, maybe right now, just pray. God, that they would just declare in their soul, they would just declare to their soul to hope in God once again. Take courage to trust you, to trust you. Pray for fresh grace to trust you. Pray for fresh grace to allow you to lead our lives as you see fit, God. And Lord, we just thank you so much that you always meet us every time we sing. You enthrone yourself on the praises of Israel. You enthrone yourself on the praises of your people. Lord, we thank you. You're always faithful to come and minister to us and uh, touch our hearts, Lord. And I just wanna pray, God, over every hopeless situation. I wanna pray for those that even feel cynical in their hopeless situation. I wanna pray that God, you would show yourself as strong. You would show yourself as provider, as protector, as redeemer, as the one who reconciles what cannot be redeemed. I wanna pray that you would show yourself strong today, God, in Jesus' name. And we just thank you so much, God. We thank you so much that you long to be glorified by impossible situations. It's what you long to do, God. You long to show yourself strong. So in our weakness, God, we just present ourselves before you as people who are in need of you. We're in need of fresh grace and we're in need of fresh provision, God. So we love you today, God. Thank you so much. Amen.